It provides free treatment for pain and suffering caused by female genital mutilation as well as some common gynaecological conditions. But the clinic is calling for more support for women's health in general. Before treatment, this mother of four could barely sit from pain. We used to have just a tablet and it didn't help much. It comes, keep coming back. But with this treatment, it's really, really great. The 50-year-old female genital mutilation survivor received platelet injections at a free clinic in Adelaide's inner southwest, providing her huge relief. I was lucky, but others, yeah, other friends or other sisters, like, they didn't know about this treatment. FGM describes the full or partial removal of external female genitalia, a practice documented in African and Asian countries that varies depending on cultural groups. It's banned in Australia, but many suffer lasting health complications. Definitely 53,000, possibly up to 200,000 are living in Australia. The Desert Flower Clinic is helping FGM survivors and other marginalised women manage complex health issues. You don't want to treat any woman as a condition. You know, a woman who sits in front of you is a person. There's growing evidence women suffer poorer health outcomes due to systemic issues, including around pain management, delayed diagnosis and overprescribing. The federal government's National Women's Health Advisory Council is trying to change that with a focus on pelvic pain. Dr. Penia Willison is also calling for greater attention around more common gynaecological conditions. Prolapse um, a is a global problem. 50% of women will have this condition over their lifetime. The gynaecologist says more training and resources would make healthcare more inclusive. Anisha Pilarisetti, ABC News, Adelaide.